today's Wednesday. It's clean the bathrooms day. So there's quite a bit involved with cleaning our bathrooms, isn't there? But lately, these guys have been really good at helping. What are you doing, Lyndall? Are you cleaning? Good job. So I basically just let them toddle around behind me with a towel, and then they'll just wipe things down as they go. So, and I use the Mrs. Myers cleaning cleaning stuff, so I think it's pretty safe. <clears throat> Let me look, actually. They don't really come in contact with any of the cleaning stuff. So, let's see, Junie. Junie, we use this. Gentle on your home, tough on dirt. Aromatherapeutic household products. And it has plant-derived ingredients, natural essential oils, made without parabens, chlorine, formaldehyde, artificial colors. So I think this is a pretty good one to let the kids be involved in the cleaning. I do use like conventional toilet bowl cleaner, so I'm a little worried about them. I don't let them clean the toilet, obviously, and I tell them over and over, no touching. I'm out of breath. That was a big yawn. So, but I have a friend who makes her own toilet bowl cleaner with essential oils and vinegar or something. So I might look into doing that so that they can help with that too. Help, it should be like this. So they can help with that. Are you guys, are you guys ready to help? Help. We gotta clean some bathrooms. Everybody grab your towel. 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 Actually, we have 20 minutes and then my mom will be here and I'm going to get my hair done. Where's your towel, Junie? It's, I'm way overdue for getting my hair done. But it's awkward because... Night-night. Night-night. Is that your monitor? That's what we watch you on while you sleep. So, it's gonna be awkward because I'm five weeks away from having this baby which is sooner than I would normally get my hair done again, but I should probably do it right before I have the baby because I won't be back for a while afterward, I'm sure. So, oh well, it is what it is. Let's go clean some bathrooms. Let's go clean bathrooms. How did you learn to do that already? You're a wise woman. <laughs> So Bear stuck his fly swatter in the toilet and then started unrolling the TP. So I asked if they would wipe the windows while I do this. But Lindo, can you go back and wipe down the window? Uh, I'll do that, thank you. <laughs> oh, Lindo's got a snack. Look at Bear. <laughs> you need to go out there and get a better angle on that. <laughs> Lindo, you got your snack? Let's put it back on the table. Aww. Night, night. Night, night. Is she playing? <laughs> That's so funny. Nina, is, Le is Rio laying down? <laughs> oh. Need more snack? Nine. Oh, that's very nice. Good job, Bear. Rio. Rio. That plant is doing so much better than that one. I say so much better. It's just a little bit. I think this is the So mom came over so I could get my hair done. I booked this appointment like two weeks ago. It's really, really hard to find the time with working and having a bunch of doctor's appointments. Now they're weekly. It's hard to find the time to go get my hair done. You have to book it pretty far in advance to get in with my girl. So I get over there and my appointment was at nine and I thought it was 9.30. So I understand probably more than anybody how much it can wreck your day when someone shows up at the wrong appointment time. With that said, I usually work them in. 
But I get with hair, it takes two hours to do it. So you can't just, like that would have thrown off her whole day. So I just came home. But in the midst of all this, it highlighted how nice it is to have family close by because the new plan is now that Buck, Buck's coming over at 10.30 tomorrow because she can do my hair at 11. Mom has a meeting tomorrow. Like every other appointment time she offered me had a conflict. But she was trying to be accommodating. So anyway, bummer. I, like I really needed it done. I can't see through my bangs. My roots are like past my chin. You can trim my bangs? Oh, sure. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I looked and I haven't had my hair done since May. Almost May, June, July, August. It's almost September, so like three and a half months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a while. Well, don't forget, I asked you if I needed to be here at 8 I know, mom had, so mom had the right time. And then I was like, no, nine is plenty early because I thought my appointment was at 9.30. Oh gosh, pregnancy brain. I don't, I don't normally miss appointments. I don't know that I've ever missed an appointment. It's just so unlike me. Lyndall, what are you doing? Climbing on the table? Okay. No, I don't think so. That's not fun. I don't think so. <laughs> so I ran by the post office because Aunt Tanya sent us a package that got lost and then it was found. It was lost, but now it's found. Super cute stuff. Got a couple of backpacks, some toys, some books. It's really cute. It's like back to school. These look really neat. So some bath toys. I'm not sure what this is, but we'll have to get that working and put it in the bath. It's a light up bath toy. Awesome. And some new books. Oh, a new big sister. That's cute. This one looks like it makes noises. I'll have to figure that out. And then Boo Bear's backpack and a wrapped present. We'll let them unwrap this. And some really cute clothes. So thank you, Tanya. That was very generous. Look at this. Yeah, it's a present from Tanya. You want to open it? Open it. Open. open it. Here you go. Open. Just rip it open. Can you rip it? Rip it. I see no sound Yes, he does. Ugh. You want to help? Open you try? It. Open, bear. You going to open this side? I'm going to eat this watermelon. a little impatient. Oh. Are these baby? These are baby. Oh. Harry Potter baby clothes. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Was <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh -huh. That's cute. Uh -huh. Whoa. Whoa. A new book. Oh, I love you those. You guys love these books. Mm-hmm. Where do you push it? Is there? Sometimes there's a switch on the back. Brad figured out that last one. We oh, we just had the switch off. Oh, really? Uh huh. Okay, good. <gasps> wow. Look, there's bears and a sloth. Oh. Oh, neat. One time. Where's the butterfly? It's a couple of. Yeah! yeah! There's one. Can you say thank you, Tanya? Say th thank, thank you, you, Tanya. Thank you. Hungry. <laughs> Yummy.
All right, we're improvising today. We got the kids out here <laughs> riding bicycles and they're <laughs> and these things in the garage. Let me, oops, they're just kind of stuck. Your handlebars are stuck. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's Lindell's. So yeah, you guys were right, definitely these things require helmets as far as we're concerned anyway. Any like ride on thing for them, we're going to implement helmet wearing. If I'm being completely honest, I just totally forgot. Like we, <laughs> it's so freaking hilarious. We just got them home, undid the packaging, and we're planning on just letting them try them out really, <laughs> really quickly before dinner, and I just didn't even think about it. Which is silly, but hey, I'm pregnant, and this is our first time doing this parenting thing, but fortunately we have a, a lot of people who are, who are uh, willing to point out our mistakes. I'm getting kind of snarky in my old age here. No, it's, um, it's, I totally get that people are worried about their safety. That's for sure our number one priority. So forgive us for a lapse in judgment on the helmets the first time they rode them. But they love wearing their helmets. See, I mean, it's clear that they wear them frequently because they don't mind them and actually prefer to have them on, right? Safety first. Bear, why do you keep getting yourself in that corner, buddy? So while they're doing that, I plan on going through more junk. Um, I say junk lovingly. This is all baby stuff. And a whole bunch of cloth diapers and more baby stuff. We are not gonna be using all of the cloth diaper stash we have. We use probably a fourth of the cloth diaper st stash that I have. There's different types of cloth diapers for different ages that work better for us. And so I'm gonna go through, figure out what I need for one baby at a time and set that stuff aside and then everything extra. I think our nanny, um, she's expecting and I think she is maybe gonna try to cloth diaper, which I'm really excited about. And so I'm just gonna give her everything extra that we have, which would probably be a full stash. So, uh-oh, speaking of helmets, is that your helmet, Lindell? You need help? You need some help? Mm. Oh, is that your, what is that thing? Let's pull this thing out and see if you guys use it. The jumpy thing. Okay.